Now I'm going to show you how to use the uh, Juanilo tool. It stands for Want, Need, Love. And what it does, it basically extracts information from this site, the Juanilo.com. And it's sort of like a social network for products that people like to share and buy products. It's awesome, obviously a really awesome, awesome place to look for uh, t-shirt ideas. So if you actually go to Juanilo and type in, for example, uh, Country Girl or something like that, or Country Shirt, you'll get an incredible amount of awesome design ideas. And what's cool is in Juanilo, they will tell you the number of saves you see right here. And the number of saves gives you an indication of how popular that t-shirt is because people are saying, well, I want to save this because I really want to buy it later. So that's what that means. Those are very, it's a very, very powerful metric because that indicates that people are actually wanting to buy that particular item, not just because they like it. It's not the same as liking or sharing. This is buying, so this is very powerful. So what I found with using this site, well, it's a pain in the butt because it doesn't actually return the top uh, items that are getting the most saves. So you see like the second one here is 34, but the next one is 2,000 and this one was 17,000. So I decided to create a cool little tool that will do that. So if we actually go into the Juanilo tool and just type in country girl, and then search for, it's so fast too, 120 means it just gets the first page, it's 120 results per page, so you can go through and select what, how many results you want returned, or all of them if, you, if you'd like. And now we can quickly sort by the number of saves, and I can see that this one here is the most popular. And I've also integrated that hover feature in this grid as well, so you can just hover your mouse over top the image, and you'll get some information. Now as you can see, these shirts are not on Teespring. These shirts are from the network Juanilo, but they actually originate from a whole different network. For this particular shirt, it's coming from a network called Screen, which is another network sort of like Teespring. And that's what is shown in this column here, the store column. So the first one shows you the number of saves, the cost of the item, the author, whoever posted that particular uh, Juanilo post, the store of where that product originated from, which is like Amazon, eBay, Zulily, um, Kansas City, all sorts of different places. And I always check out these different places. You can go there and find some really cool stuff. Like what's this uh, country girl store? So uh, the, I think all of these uh, images here, especially the antlers, is heavily copyrighted. So I recommend never using antlers at all in your shirts because they'll just get shut down right away. That's what I've seen. I've never done it, so I haven't actually uh, been in the country girl niche, so I, I can't say exactly that's going to happen, but I've seen it happen. I've seen a lot of them be disapproved. Um, you can also see the title, obviously, if you click on that, it takes you right to the corresponding item, and you can, you can actually take a look at it and see some similar ones. If you scroll down, you'll see other ones that are similar. So it's just an awesome hunting ground for um, just endless ideas. I can't tell you how awesome this site is. It's probably one of my favorite places to go looking for different ideas and that's why I created a whole separate tool for it. And so like the other grid you can do uh, you can do things like you right click and copy whatever. You can turn off that hover feature so that windows not showing up when you're hovering over the image. You can also click the image and look at it right online. Um, you can also save your data, so you can save it as a specific data, a Juanilo data file I called it, and it'll only be able to open it up in the, within this grid. Um, you can also export it as a HTML um, report, interactive report like we did before, so with our other tool I should say. So you can open that up and you can actually see an interactive report and you can do an, a real-time search with it and you can you can take this HTML file and you can sell it if you'd like. It's just another option for you. You can provide this as, as data information for research for somebody. Say you're working for somebody and doing Teespring research. You can use this and, and uh, provide reports to your employer. So that's just another option. We put these we put the interactive reports into a lot of our software because customers are absolutely loving it. And then there's obviously you can open up your data file. So if we go ahead and save this to a Juanilo data file, and then we can clear this out and we can go ahead and load it back in. Let's say you want to get back to where you saved your data files. 
There's a cool feature we've included on all our buttons here. So you can you just click it and you'll see open last working folder. And it'll open up uh, an explorer window, window right to where you last saved something. That is really handy because I hate it when software programs you go and save something and you have no idea where you saved it. Man, that just drives me nuts. So that's why I integrate it into the software. So you'll see it on most of the buttons here. You open last working folder and you go right to where you're working, which is awesome. And that's basically it. There's not much to the Oneilo tool, but I'm telling you, it's super powerful and it will give you endless, endless ideas for shirt designs.